What's happening, sports fans? We welcome you to the second playoff edition of the CIF San Diego section's official podcast. Uh, we, I am Christian Pedersen. I'm joined by Tommy Morris, my co-host, and we are, as always, joined by Bodie De Silva from Scorebook Live. Scorebook Live, the official digital content provider of all things high school sports across the entire universe. They've got the articles, the photos, the top 10. Bodie literally got a poll last year. They got like a million clicks type thing. Like they got everything you could possibly want there. Download the SB Live Sports app. You can visit scorebooklive.com. We should also, before we go any further in today's show, say thank you to the U.S. Army for their continued support of San Diego Prep Insider. Let's check out everything they're up to. Thanks again to the U.S. Army for all of their support. Support, Guys, D2 is going to involve mostly just me and Bodie as long as Tommy wants to give a, uh, a thumbs up. He doesn't even have to make an audio input in this whole one. We'll see. We'll see. Deal. All right, Tommy, uh, you for sure can sit out this first one other than letting us know it's going to happen Friday at 7 p.m. But that is number one, Granite Hills, and number nine – or number eight, La Jolla. Number eight, La Jolla beats number nine, SFC, 28-22, to take on Granite Hills, a Granite Hills team that was receiving top ten votes uh, towards maybe the last, like, four, maybe three weeks of the season from a fair amount of the pundits across the county. Bodie De Silva from Scorebook Live, let's start with you. Your thoughts on this game. Yeah, I, I granted it's been a big surprise all year. Um, at this point, they're they're no longer surprising anyone that when they got over Helix to win the league title on the road, super impressive. Um, and I think especially when you look at what they've done against the other top seeds uh, within this division and this bracket, um, it'd be tough for me to not pick. I do have them winning the bracket eventually, so I do think they get a win this week and and keep it moving. Next game, we've got number four, Christian. They had the bye in the first round. They're taking on number five, Mira Mesa, who beat Otai Ranch 38-21. Mira Mesa, they have two versions, really, really good, or they're just not bringing it that day. Bodie De Silva, which Mira Mesa is going to show up on Friday at Christian? Yeah, in this same matchup, Mira Mesa lost uh, not too long ago, I believe just a couple weeks back. Um, I expect them to turn things around. The That team has been playing so hard since they lost Coach Thompson last year. Um, and I think Makai Thompson on, on the ground game every week, I, I go through some of the stats and it's, oh, four more touchdowns for him, 180 yards. Um, I think he brings it when he, when they need to, especially this week. They're going to have to go on the road because they lost that earlier game. I'm sure, that's some motivation for him there. Um, I like Mir Mace to get through again. Other side of the bracket, moving on from the buys are Ramona and Central. Man, that central game, I cannot wait to talk about again. Uh, but first, we got to talk about number three, Ramona, playing host to number six, San Marcos, who very solidly, in terms of both sides of the ball, uh, beat Valley Center 41 12. This would be, uh, if if I am San Marcos, this would be the one team out of the, the four that had a buy that I would look at and say, well, they did get upset at already one point this year. So why couldn't this happen again? That I think gets San Marcos dangerously close to me. Like they could, I think they could be the lowest remaining seed that makes it into a finals out of all this run. But uh, that first step is Ramona. Bodie De Silva from Scorebook Live, your thoughts on whether or not that could happen? Yeah, it was a difficult end of the season in league play for San Marcos, but they were they were able to bounce back, go put up 41 points last week against Valley Center. So that kind of shows those guys are still around. I know it's a, a really young team, but they are still playing hard at this point of the season. Um, I'm going to go with Ramona in this one, but I think San Marcos makes it really close. Um, I just think Ramona has a little more experience that'll, that'll go way out here in, in the playoffs. Finally, we got the bell game part two. My goodness. Uh, you, you like this. You like the fact that this Brawley versus central game gets to happen once, but I think if you run the tape back, because we actually know what we're talking about and I will ring bell toot toot, whatever sound effect I need to punch up. We talked about this earlier in the season that this is finally a league game or a, a, an in-division game that, that that there could be implications for it in the regular season, but that could also happen twice, and it is happening twice. And this is huge, and I would say that, yeah, probably this is going to be a central win because you look at it on paper, and central is just five seeds higher. They're a little bit better team this year. 
But this also seems to me like of all the games happening on any of these in the first round, this is the one where you could say kind of throw it out. Like, well, dude, it's just the football. It's Friday. But like that seems like maybe that could be a reality on how Brawley could get a win here. Bodie De Silva, your thoughts, though, on the game. Yeah, they played just two weeks ago, as we've talked about. Central had to go on the road, scored 13 points in the fourth quarter and won that one 20 to 16. I think they'll have a little easier time now hosting this one. Um, but I still don't think it's a blowout when these two teams play. It means so much to to both sides. Um, and just as a reminder, this will be the Thursday game this week. So if you're planning to get to this one, um, don't show up on Friday. Um, but yeah, no, I, I think this is a good one. But I, I ultimately I have Granite beating Central in the championship. So um, I will stick with Central to to take oh, down the red. Dude, if Central can get back to a championship and have that band come back in town. I am all here for that. I hope they would bring <laughs> up that blow up cowboy, bring the horse, all that fun. I'll put a GoPro on the horse. We'll get that done. Uh, the Central, you got to get all there right. first, though. Tommy, hey, you're back. Back. Hey. Want to go on to uh, the Division One one, Tommy? Yeah, I was talking about I think my microphone is muted. So. Ah. Uh, but- oh, you were using Coach okay. Simon. You were using Coach Simon's mic. Yeah. 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 So. yeah. All right. Well, we'll 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 stop here for a second. We'll go on to the division one one. Thank you guys. Make sure you download the Scorebook Live app or visit scorebooklive.com to get all these scores and results throughout the rest of the playoffs.